Well, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and good evening there in Washington, D.C., and we welcome you to the Wiley Drake Show live on the Internet with you. Let's hang on and see who this is. Good a- Hello, this is Wiley. We're live on TV right now. If you'd like to talk, go ahead. If not, call back. I don't know. You'll have to come by and check. All right. I'm on my way there already. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was church fair in motion, in action. That was a lady who needs a place to stay. You could hear the children crying in the background. That's what we do. We are a sanctuary for those that love to be comfortable, to have a place to sleep, a place to eat, so forth. That's what we do. We are a church, ladies and gentlemen, and I said about our ministry, if you want to know about us, there's three things I would say about us. We are a church, number one. Number two, we are a church. And number three, we are a church, a church of Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus. That's his Greek and Hebrew name, and we call him Jesus And we thank the Lord for the opportunity to serve. Now, we're going to be talking today about some other things in the Hebrew. Uh, We've been talking about the mystery of the Shemitah, S-H-E-M-I-T-A-H. We're going to be talking about the Shemitah, the Shemitah that we're in, the Shemitah that we're moving into, and most of all, what God is doing. And we're going to be sharing with you some of that tonight. Now, before we go any further, though, I'm going to share with you a little bit about uh, what's happening in our nation's capital. As the chairman of the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., I am very pleased to announce that we and I are supportive of a thing called March for Christ. And when we march, we blow the shofar. And tonight we will blow the shofar for this beginning of this show and for the March for Christ. The trump of God, the trumpet of God, blown for victory, blown for war, blown for celebration, and blown for worship. And we're going to be blowing the shofar all across this nation. As many of you know, we have one that's dedicated on location, a shofar from the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., that is literally on the mantelpiece of a missions station there in Washington, D.C., on 109 2nd Street. They're just near the Supreme Court. And that shofar is there on location, dedicated to be able to be blown in the capital of our nation, Washington, D.C. The D.C. stands for District of Christ. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to play a couple of one-minute audios for you. If you'd like to see the video and see this beautiful lady, all you have to do is go to the website, the website is insightusa.us. Insight, I N S I G H T, insightusa.us. And you can see this, but right now I'm just going to play the audio portion of it for you as our dear sister Faye Harden shares with us. Listen as she shares. Hi, I just want to let you know that 2015 is a prophetic year. People are saying that judgment is going to fall on September 13th, but we already plan to get one step ahead. You need to be right now planning to join us at the Reflection Pool at Union Station at 3 p.m. on September 13th. We are going to march for Christ. We're going to celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles, I mean the Feast of Trumpets, the Rosh Hashanah, and the Jubilee year. We're going to turn back the judgment that has been pronounced on the United States by doing it God's way. We're going to repent first, and then we are going to celebrate the blessings and the benefits that come on Elul 29. 
5775. The benefits God has planned for us because we're doing it God's way. Don't miss it. Ladies and gentlemen, the year is Elul. The Hebrew word E-L-U-L, -L, Elul, and the year is 5,775. For those of us who are Americans, citizens of the United States of America, this will be on September the 13th in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2015. And we're going to do that. Now, there's another thing that Faye Harden, dear sister in the Lord, is going to share one more minute with you about something else that we're doing. Remember, LU, LU 29, which is September the 13th, we will be there in Washington, D.C., indeed, to celebrate and to indeed declare that we are marching for Jesus Christ. But before we march, as Faye said, we will repent and we will confess and we will clean up the District of Christ that used to be called the District of Columbia, but it's now the District of Christ by edict from God's men and God's women from around our nation. So listen again as our dear sister Faye Harden now, if you want to find out more about her, if you want to see this video, simply go to Insight, I-N-S-I-G-H-T, InsightUSA.us, and hear my sister as she proclaims what we're going to be doing just before Elul 29, September the 13th. We're going to be doing something else. Listen to her and write down some notes if you would. I'm so excited for to let you finally know, I've been working for uh, all of this year, to lead prayer teams to Washington, D.C. for a cleansing of the city. The Would you like to be a member of one of those prayer teams? Come and pray with us. Come and share with us. There's two ways you can be there. Number one, you can be there boots on the ground. I will be there boots on the ground. And I hope you will be too. And if not, you can be their prayer in the air. But listen as Faye talks about being boots on the ground. The deeming of the land, because we need in this nation a spiritual revolution. It needs to start at the seat of power. So on Capitol Hill, if you will join me in Washington, D.C., September the 10th, 11th, and 12th, right before the 13th of our Shemitah march of believers who are Christians that are going to call this nation back to God. We're going to pray over the city. So if you're an intercessor, a prayer warrior, you want to know more about our spiritual cleansing of our nation's capital and want to join us on September 10th, 11th, and 12th, contact me now. And ladies and gentlemen, contact this dear sweet sister if you'd like to be a part of this whole outpouring of the Word of God. So get in touch with her. Go to InsightUSA.us. InsightUSA.us. That U.S. stands not only for the United States, but it stands for us, i.e., you and me. We're honoring 2 Chronicles 7.14 that says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then God said, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and heal their land. Ladies and gentlemen, join us. Be a part of the battle cry. Be a part of the outpouring of more than 3,000. And Faye is also saying they need sponsors. They need people to work. Sign up uh, with the e-mail uh, account and be a part of this great, great event. There's going to be a, a live conference call from time to time. We'll have conference calls there uh, on Capitol Hill, and we would encourage you. By the way, you can also go to her website and get a T-shirt. I've got one coming, and on that T-shirt, it's black, it's beautiful, it's got a picture of the Capitol, and it says... Dear Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach, I, that's Wiley, 
I repent. Forgive me and America for all our national sins. Shemika Elul Elul 29, I believe it is. I'm sorry, I forgot what it was. <laughs> but we do thank the Lord. Elul, Elul, E-L-U-L 29. That is September the 13th, 2015. That is in the Hebrew year, the Jewish year of 5775. 5,775 is the year that we're in in the Jewish calendar at this point. So join us. Listen to Faye Harding. Be there. Be a part. Come and fellowship. Come and rejoice. Come and march for Christ. We're going to have an outpouring of a lot of folk. I hope you'll be there. I hope you'll be a part of it. I will be there. Ladies and gentlemen, she talked about the fact that there is a cleansing time that's going to be held before the great uh, march for Christ. We must be clean just as we must be clean when we go uh, before uh, the Lord Jesus Christ with the supper, with the Lord's Supper. We will be cleansing we will be praying repentance and cleansing for our nation's capital, and we would encourage you uh, to be a part about, uh, be a part of that. So come and be a part on September 10, 11, and 12. We'll be doing live broadcasts. The Wiley Drake Show will be live on location from the 10th all the way through the 16th. Come and be a part of our march for Christ. We're going to march in the streets. We're going to march in the hallways. We're going to march on the airways. We're going to march for Christ. And that is on LU 295775 or in our years, September the 13th, 2015. It will be at the Reflection Pool at Union Square. That's where we'll begin. Join thousands of other Christian believers in Washington, D.C. For Christ on Shemitah 2015. And get your t-shirt. Go to the website, insightusa.us, and order your t-shirt there that says, Dear Yeshua HaMashiach, Dear Lord Jesus, I repent. Forgive America for all our sins. And so please go to the website. Go to the website, insightusa.us. Folks, it's us. It's up to us now to come together and really be the USA, the United States of America. Come and join us. The first three days of it is the 10th, 11th, and 12th of September. 10th, 11th, and 12th. And that will be the repenting. That will be the cleansing. That will be the preparation for the great march for Christ that's going to happen on Elul 29, 5775, or September the 13th, 2015. Come and join us. Be a part. By the way, call me and let me know that you're going. Call me and let me know we can meet when we get there. And if you want to call me, you can reach me on my phone number when I'm in D.C. or when I'm out of D.C. You can reach me on my phone number, 714-865-8132. 714-865-8132. Give me a call. Now, if you'd like to be on this program right now, just as Faye just was, by audio, not video, just audio, but if you'd like to be audio on this program, call 712-432-1690. 712-432-1690. Put in your access code 399-430-POUND, and you can indeed join us. We blew the shofar. The shofar is a mighty horn. The shofar is the original trumpet 
the original trump of Almighty God. And one day, we're going to hear the shofar blow the last time. Bible says the trump will sound and time shall be no more. The dead in Christ shall rise first and then we which remain shall join them in the air. That's why when I talk to people sometimes and they say, well, goodbye, Wiley, until then, God bless, etc., I say to them, see you there or in the air. See you there or in the air. One day. I'm going to make a trip. Oh, it won't be on a 747. It won't be on a little Learjet. It won't be on any kind of airplane. It'll be by the very mercies of Almighty God, and it'll be on the blast of the shofar as we go into heaven. May God bless, and may God help each of us. Folks, call us. 712-432-1690. Access code 399-430-POUND. Now, by the way, if you call that number, it will ask you for your access code. That is not your code, actually. It's my code. So you will not be identified. You do not have to identify yourself. There are some people that come on this program and ask for prayer. There are some people that come on this program and pray imprecatory prayer. There are some that come on here and pray prayers of thanksgiving. There are folks that come on for prayers for healing, healing of the storm that they're in, and they may tell you a little bit about their drug storm, their alcohol storm, or their depression storm, or whatever it might be, and they just might want to remain anonymous, and we certainly do honor that. We do not require that you identify yourself. We would appreciate it if you would. We would appreciate it if you would tell us uh, indeed uh, what uh, is going on in your heart and in your life. I have no idea what you mean, Peter, holding up a plate. Uh, the, uh, the service today, would you like to extend your plate? Yes, please. <laughs> That's Peter Maxent, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, he knows I'm a weakling for spaghetti. So he's going to get me a big plate of spaghetti that I can have when the show is over. To God be the glory. Thank you for interrupting me, Peter. <laughs> it's a good to have an interruption, and you're going to get spaghetti as a result of it. March for Christ, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to march. We're going to march in our nation's capital, Washington District of Christ. I mentioned a little while ago, a number of years ago, we were in Washington, D.C. with a Congressional Prayer Conference, and someone came to me and said, why do we call this place Washington District of Columbia? I said, well, that's what they named it. And that person said they should not have named our capital after a false god. And I said, absolutely, I agree with you. They should not have named it after a false god. So let's change it. So as a servant of Almighty God, I am Wiley S. Drake Sr., a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as my pastor, James David Manning, often says, I'm James David Manning, a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I follow my pastor, not always, but sometimes. If he goes astray, I won't follow him. But I will follow him most of the time because he's a mighty, mighty man of God. A great example for me, one of his assistant pastors at the church called Atla. Atla. Somebody said earlier, Wiley, you must like other languages. You must like the Hebrew language. I do. I like to say Yeshua HaMashiach. I like to say Yahweh. And I like to say Elul, the 29th, in the year 5,775. How old is this world? 
5,775 years old according to the word of God. Now I know what you old earth people and young earth people and y'all all argue and fight and you get stuck on stupid. Well, I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I got the book. I got the book. And this book, the Holy Bible, says it is the year 5,775. That's the age of the earth. And uh, we thank the Lord for that. Now, we do have uh, some other things coming up a little later in the show. Uh, I, we're going to be joining a meeting at the half hour, we will join a meeting. I have a dear sister in the Lord who is the president of an organization called the Salt and Light Council. Now, that's not the Salt and Light Brigade. That's my buddy, Coach Dave Dobemeyer, who's head of that Salt and Light. And that Salt and Light is indeed the Salt and Light Brigade. And we thank the Lord for that. I'm going to slip away. As a matter of fact, I'll be right back on camera. Don't anybody go away. And don't anybody turn the camera off. But I need to grab something. Okay. As Arnold would say, I'm back. And I'm not even Arnold. I don't even, I'm not even as ugly as he is. But anyway, I am back, and I want to share with you something that I received just recently when I was back there on my trip. And I'm going to hold it up for the camera, and you'll see it here. And if you'd like to have one of these, I'll tell you how to get it. If you'd like to get one of these, you can get it. It's called Salt and Light Brigade. Salt and Light Brigade. And if you want to go to the website... Salt and Light Brigade, just three words, four words, excuse me. Salt and Light Brigade, four words. I can count. I have two doctor's degrees earned and two or three other honorary, but sometimes my counting lapses me back into my Arkansas training and I forget how to count. Sometimes I even have to take my shoes off so I can get some extra digits there to uh, do the count. But anyway, Salt and Light Brigade. The Salt and Light Brigade is headed up by a dear, dear friend and a dear, dear mentor of mine. His name is Coach Dave Dubemeyer. Coach Dubemeyer is head of the Salt and Light Brigade. And on this brochure it says, Salt of the Earth and light of the world. You know what Jesus said? Jesus didn't recommend that you be salt. He didn't recommend that you be light. He didn't say, well, it would be a good idea if you did. He said, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. The question is not, are you, because Jesus said you are. The question is, how strong and how tasteful is your salt? And how much preserving does what you do preserve? So, the salt, now how about the light? Jesus didn't suggest, well, it'd be good to turn your light on a little bit. No, he said, you are the light of the world. And as the light of the world, the question is, how bright is your light? Go to the saltandlightbrigade.org. www. you know, saltandlightbrigade.org and you will see a picture of a man standing there with a t-shirt on that says Jesus is the judge not the Supreme Court doesn't say that on there but that's what it's implying Jesus is the judge and we know that he is so the Salt and Light Brigade if you'll go to the saltandlightbrigade.org you can order some of these brochures and you'll find out more about it. Where do you fit into the brigade? The prayer force? That's part of the brigade. The infantry? That's another part of the brigade. Or the SWAT team? You can be a part of any one of those three teams. 
Our SWAT team is spiritual weapons and tactics. Hit the beach. Show up at the point of attack as a resistance to the forces of darkness. Not everyone will be able to go. Some of us can be boots on the ground, and some of us have to be prayer in the air. The infantry, no matter how effective the prayer bombing effort is, the battle can never be won without boots on the ground. Boots on the ground. Coach stole that from me, <laughs> but I'm so glad he did. Boots on the ground. As soon as the Air Force begins its prayer campaign, the infantry begins its offensive by using phone calls and emails and faxes and petitions to the powers that be. And then let them know that an army of Christians has been activated and they are standing up and proclaiming that we are no longer sitting idly by and watching America being surrendered to the enemies of God. So, be on the SWAT team. Be on the infantry. Be a part of the infantry in the Salt and Light Brigade. And lastly, and even more important, really, be a part, not of the Air Force, but of the Prayer Force. You can be boots on the ground and prayer in the air. And that's the prayer force. Shock and awe is a tactical term that was popularized during the first Gulf War in 1990 in reference to the bombing assault that our Air Force launched prior to initiating the ground invasion. Just like any good military, God has an Air Force which is comprised of prayer warriors, prayer in the air, whose specialty is to bombard heaven with prayer, even though many members will never be able to physically set foot on the battlefield. The Air Force will be called upon to initiate each battle with target, united, fervent prayer prior to and for the duration of the battle. So join the prayer force. Join the infantry. Join the SWAT team. And if you want to know how to join, it's real simple. All you do is go to this website. Four words. Salt and Light Brigade. B-R-I-G-A-D-E. Salt and Light Brigade dot org. And join the prayer force, the infantry, and the SWAT team. Join us as we bombard heaven and as we bombard the devil. And you know what? As we join the prayer force and the air force, we can say one simple thing that I say quite often, and sometimes it gets me in trouble because people say preachers aren't supposed to talk that way. But you know what I say to the devil and all of his demons? I say this, go to hell. That's where you belong. Go to hell. No, I'm not cussing. I'm saying, Satan and all of your little demons, your little drug demons, your little sex demons, your little mad demons, your little demons here and demons there. Go to hell where you belong. Join the Air Force. Join the SWAT team. And join the Salt and Light Brigade. Now, in just a few moments, we're going to be joining some other warriors. As I mentioned before, there's another Salt and Light group. This other salt and light, it's not the salt and light brigade, it's the salt and light council. Salt and light council. And that salt and light council is going to be holding a meeting in about one minute. And we're going to call in after they get their meeting going, and we're going to join them in their meeting. We're going to join them being prayer in the air. So I want you to know you need to pray for the Salt and Light Council. You can go to https colon forward slash forward slash join dot me forward slash Salt and Light Council. 
and we're going to make a conference call. If you'd like to call and be on that conference call, I'll give you the phone number and the ID number because that's what I'm going to use here in just a moment to call. The phone number is 213-226-1066. The meeting ID number is 279-427-664 pounds. So, hang on. I'm going to make a call here and see if I can get us in there. And if we can, we will join them in their meeting uh, for this show. Now, like I said, call the number 213-226-1066. Welcome to Join Me. Please enter your conference ID and press the pound key. 2 Seven nine four two seven six six four pound. You will now be placed into the conference. I may. I'm going to have to run off the phone for one second and go to a different printer. Well, you know the best laid plans. All right, so let's get started. Let's do a little bit of a roll call first. And when you log in, I see you're coming in with strictly the. Um, some of you are putting your names in. Um, hi, Beth. Hey, Bob's here with me. Beth and Bob, great. Yes. Awesome. Thank you for making this. And we're just clicking a few people in now. And um, uh, let's see, Alicia just joined us. Lisa, are you there on the phone? And we have Carol and David. I have to write it down because I have a, uh, an attendance sheet here. Uh, we have Nadine. Thank you, Nadine. You did it. Good girl. All right. <laughs> yes. Okay, now I see viewer 6, viewer 12, viewer 13, and viewer 19. Um, can uh, viewer 6, let's say, tell me what your, what your name is? Well, I'm not sure what number I am, but I do know my name. My name is Wiley Drake with the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., and we are very happy... Wiley, good to hear your voice. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you. We're so thank glad so to much. join okay, Salt and Light Council. We have a meeting, uh, with, which is with all the different churches around the country that have an, uh, a salt and light, just like you. So, well, praise the Lord. Uh, 
Alisa Jarvis, Carolyn David Rogers, Nadine, Q. Wiley Drake, Heidi Pezdek, Darlene Watson, Keith Lover, and Fran from Florida. Fran, what is tell me again your last name, Fran? Oh. Grassi. Grassi. Yeah. Okay, and who else has just joined us? Hi, I'm Carol Coleman. Every camp, I'm selling Thank you. Dran, I was on the phone a little while ago with a dear friend of ours, Faye Harden, and uh, she's very, very busy, wanted to join us today, but couldn't. But can I play you a one-minute audio from her? Thank 
say, Father God in heaven, lift them mightily. Keep your hand of protection on them. Keep them free from harm and from harming others. And help to equip them to meet this current time that we are in with the utmost of grace and forgiveness. We thank you in the precious name of your son, Yeshua. And now before we actually open in prayer, please go ahead and mute your phone with your mute button. And let's all just quietly confess our sins to the Lord. So let's just take a moment of silence. Ladies and gentlemen, I've muted my phone that I'm on with them. Ephesians 1, I think about 18, may the eyes, may your eyes of understanding be enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of his, of the glory of his inheritance. In Amen. And I am so um, overwhelmed to know that each and every one of you are an inheritance of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are a wise and he has invested in us. Yes, we Lord. are his inheritance. What a glorious, wonderful, uh, refreshing uh, joy that brings to my heart, and I pray that it brings it to your heart. And now the prayer line is open. Just feel free to just jump right in and pray. Father, I pray that you will forgive me of my sin and all the sins of America. Lord, teach us to pray. Your own disciples said, teach us to pray, and then you gave them what our friends call the, our Father, the Lord's Prayer. Give me the Lord's Prayer. Help me to know how hallowed you are. And how you will walk with me at all times. In Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Heavenly Father, I, I give thanks for uh, there being a place like salt and light where we can go. Amen. And get help and, and gather together uh, to, to bring this country back to the moral uh that it once had. Mm -hmm. Lord, it gives us such encouragement to know that we're not alone, that there's so many other people across this country that are feeling the same hurt mm -hmm. that we are feeling for our country. Lord, we love you so much, and we just give, give you all the praise and thanks and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Father, we humble ourselves and come before your throne, and we come with a grateful heart and a thankful heart, Father, because we already know that uh, your all of our hope is in you. So, Father, just give us a countenance and a spirit of pure joy, even though we are so discouraged by so many of the decisions that that, that seem to be um, going against anything that would glorify you. But we know yes, your promises, yes. Father that all things work together for those who love Jesus. And, um, Father, I just pray that our countenance would show that confidence in you and that victory in you. Yes, and that Lord. And will be salt and light in our areas of influence. And uh, I just I pray, Father, for those of us who struggle with depression sometimes to uh, have our spirits lifted, lifted up and that uh, we will be turning to you um, Thank 
action. So we thank you for that. In your name we pray. Father God, we come before your throne and thank you for your hand on America. That yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Not given up on us, Lord God, even for those who have given up on you. And yet, Lord, you're moving in such powerful ways that there's such a hope for revival. And Lord, we thank you for uh, every person who loves you and who has committed themselves to truly following the gospel from giving up their own life and living your life to being a light and salt. And Lord God, we just bless you. We praise your name. And we thank you, Father God, for the hope that you give to the world mm, that yes. has not stopped. Lord God, you have not given up on America, and we will not give up on you because you will outlast America. And we thank you in the name of This is Bob in Iowa. We just, we just thank you, Lord. That the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Yes, Lord. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that will result itself against the knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. We yes, thank you, Lord, yes. that we can bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus. And so, Father, as we have things that come against us, we know, Lord God, that we can, can cast them down, Lord God. We will not be discouraged or disheartened, but Lord God, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Because we have joy unspeakable and full of glory. We thank you, Father God, for a peace that surpasses all of our understanding as we move forth, Lord God, together as one army, Lord God, to do your work in your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Seek 
after the righteousness that you command. Mm. We pray, Lord, that you would um, cleanse our hearts. Yes. Uh, Do it, Lord. Your word from the knowledge that you give us. Everything fit for teaching and for learning is there. Lord, we we pray that um, you would purify us. Drive us to the righteousness that, that you request of us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This is David from California. Father, thank you for the, uh, the time that we can spend Another here. Another David. Yes, yes, Lord. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Well, if there are no more prayers, is there anybody else that would like to pray? Amen. Father, I have got to believe that revival is happening right here because there are a whole lot of people here on the phone mm-hmm. that are ready to see America restored and Amen. the entire mess turned around. Father, we are here. We are never, ever, ever going to give up. Yes, we say Lord. Yes Yes, Lord. Anyone else? Last call? 
Uh, Dran, before you get last call, let me give you the one-minute recording from our dear sister, Faye Harden. Is that okay? That's on September the 13th in Washington, D.C. Faye Harden and a group of other people, we're looking right now at somewhere around five to 10,000 people that are going to march for Christ there in our nation's capital.
Californians, and I received an award from uh, the Preventing Abuse Human Trafficking Group. And we did produce a one-minute video. Now, I'm, we were hoping that these would get produced every month, but it's, uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk to uh, Russ if he makes it on the phone call today about uh, future one-minute videos. Uh, we had a success. It would have been a little bit on the difficult side to get that membership page up and running, but nonetheless, we did it. Hallelujah. And uh, how to download and what you get on the membership page. And this right here, this page is just talking about salt and light churches that are involved in social media. And you may see your church listed up here. And if you haven't sent us any snippets of your Facebook pages or your social media, please do so. Send us a, um, you know, an invitation to like your page so we can see what you're doing. We're so grateful. It gives us such encouragement. And, of course, you see Heidi right there. Uh, here's some more uh, testimonials and field reports. These are actual testimonials from the uh, different social medias. Here's more testimonials. There's one from Nadine, which we most appreciate. Buck from Heal Our Nation. We really appreciate this. So, folks, please send us any words of encouragement. And, uh, you know, Sean Brahim here, and I don't know if he's with us, Constance Panos. I don't think she's with us today. There's Heidi. So we really appreciate it when you send us these testimonials from the field. And we cover these and we share them with others. So it's very important. And you may see one of your ministries listed up on this page. And, of course, here's Barry. Isn't that a beautiful page, Barry? Look at that. Isn't that nice? This is Barry Webster in Tallahassee. And, again, we have been encouraging the starting of a movie ministry at your church. And these were some of our calendar events. Okay, that's what we did in the first three months. Now we will get on with our meeting. Gail, would you like to talk about this page? Sure. Um, well, you get the monthly maintenance, and um, it's uploaded now to our members page. And the uh, separate piece, of course, is the newsletter. And so we have newsletter things for each month of the year. And we encourage you to use those things when you're planning your prayer and action meetings. So... Uh, of course, we have Independence Day, the 4th of July, coming up, and you can see what's coming up in August. Uh, if you have questions about, you know, where to find the articles or what you can do to um, you know, build a meeting around it or, you know, whatever you want, then just please give me a call. There's my phone number. Okay. That's it. <laughs> I had to get them off. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the Wiley Drake Show today. We were just on the air by phone with... Um, Dran Reese, she's the president of the Salt and Light Council, and uh, they were having their meeting, and uh, I'll not air their meeting. They may or may not want me to air their minutes uh, to the whole world. So all that we were doing there was prayer for everybody, and I wanted to go ahead and unplug us so that I don't make them angry by putting their business meeting on my television program. And besides that, it's time for my TV program to stop and to end. It's also time for me to uh, uh, go to another meeting. I have to go to I have to go to the uh, Oath Keepers, actually Guardians of the Oath that I'm going to be going to and uh, finding out more about that uh, a little bit later. And I serve as their chaplain, so I need to be there on time. So with that in mind, I'm going to say good day, God bless you, and I'm going to end our phone conversation at this point as well and say good night. Battery full. And God bless on that. And we're going to turn that off. And then I'm going to go over and turn the television off so we don't continue to broadcast here.